morning. Welcome to a day in the life of our <laughs> chaotic home. Um, I did not know if this was going to get filmed because I wanted to film it weeks ago and then we got really sick. Well, the kids all got really sick. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know <laughs> all about that saga. Um, and then everyone got better and I was like, cool, now I can film. And then yesterday, one of my kids was not feeling good, like was sick, had a fever. <sighs> Just like, are you kidding? Because this is our last week of school for the year. And if it didn't get filmed, like, now, this week, it was not going to be filmed. It was not going to be something I could share. But he's feeling much better today. So, going to take you along with our homeschool day. We are already, like, down to just a few subjects. So, I hope you enjoy. We're going to be moving on to our Christmas unit next week. And I'm so looking forward to that. <laughs> That means it's one month exactly till Christmas Eve. Mm. We, 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 that means when we put up, up the Christmas tree. No, we're putting up the Christmas tree on Saturday. In the morning? No, not tomorrow. Tomorrow's not Saturday. Today is, what is today? Wednesday. Tomorrow's Thursday. So we've got <laughs> Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night. Three it sleeps is. until we put up the Christmas tree. Yay! Yeah? Okay, let's read our poem. Flying Fish by John Agard. Flying fish, flying fish, what is your wish? In water you swim, yet you like to skim through wind. Flying fish, flying fish, make up your mind. Are you a bird inside a fish, or just a fish dreaming of wings? All right, and our other one. The Poultries by Ogden Nash. Let's think of eggs. They have no legs. Chickens come from eggs, but they have legs. The plot thickens. Eggs come from chickens, but have no legs under them. What a conundrum. This is funny. <laughs> <laughs> and out of here, we're going to get into this one. Pinkle purr. Tattoo was the mother of Pinkle purr, a little black nothing of feet and fur. And by and by, when his eyes came through, he saw his mother, the big tattoo. And all that he learned, he learned from her. I'll ask my mother, says Pinkle purr. Tattoo was the mother of Pinkle Purr, a ridiculous kitten with silky fur. And little black Pinkle grew and grew till he got as big as the big tattoo. And all that he did, he did with her. Two friends together, says Pinkle Purr. Tattoo was the mother of Pinkle Purr, an adventurous cat in a coat of fur. And whenever he thought of a thing to do, he didn't much bother about Tattoo. For he knows it's nothing to do with her. So, see you later, says Pinkle Purr. Tattoo is the mother of Pinkle Purr, an enormous leopard with coal black fur. A little brown kitten that's nearly new is now playing games with its big tattoo. And Pink looks lazily down at her. Dear little tat, says Pink, Pinkle Purr. I spilled a bit. You spilled a bit, that's okay. It is. I'll make this. It's all right, I'll clean it afterwards, okay? Okay. All right. All right, let's read our last chapter from the Wishing Chair book. Okay, the end of the adventure. Peter made his way back to where they had left the wishing chair. He did hope he might meet Molly and Chinky there. He soon saw the yellow lamp post in the distance where the chair had been left. Good, thought Peter, hurrying. I'll soon be back with the chair again and I'll sit in it and wait there till the others come. Okay, so um, we finished, we did poetry over breakfast and our read aloud, and we've actually just finished our last read aloud for the year. Um, and so I'm going to be doing a roundup of the read alouds that we've done and share them all with you, do like a little mini review of what we thought about them. Hopefully I'll be filming that quite soon, actually. Um, we just finished, I 
think it was like more wishing chair or something like that. I don't know. It was the Enid Blyton wishing chair series anyway. And I, it's almost 10 o'clock. Usually we start school around 9.30, but today the living area and the kitchen had just gotten a bit out of hand. So I wanted to do like a good, good clean and like vacuum and mop a little bit. So it's all sparkling, smells nice and fresh now. And the kids have been playing outside. Um, I think Charlotte's, I don't know, she's playing with something in the playroom and we're going to start school. So we've got, for our group subjects, we've only got a couple. We're doing laying down the rails. So we've been focusing on the habit of cleanliness this uh, term and actually it was like really good timing with everyone being sick. It was like great to focus on that specifically. Um, so we're finishing up that today and then we're also finishing up our Oceania unit study. Um... So we're just on like the last little bit of that. I think we've only got like a couple pages to read. And I have essentially used it like a read aloud. So uh, we started out with the workbooks, but I just found like it was just too much and we didn't need to. And so we've just used it as a read aloud and then explored based on our own interests. Like we'll look up videos or look for pictures or whatever. Um, and that has worked out great. So I'm planning on doing country unit studies next year too, because we really enjoyed this. I mean, Oceania was obviously like a whole region, not just one country, but same idea. So I'm currently looking at different unit studies and trying to decide what I want to do. Um, and then we've also got a KiwiCo box, which I actually had two stored up. So we did one yesterday and then we also did one of the projects from the second box and we're going to do the second project today. So looking forward to that. My kids love the KiwiCo boxes. I was I didn't know whether or not to purchase it because it's really pricey, especially with international shipping. And granted, like, the quality of materials isn't that great, but they have enjoyed it so much that I think I will be signing up for another year's subscription when it comes due because it's just been a really fun learning experience for them. And I love that there's usually at least two projects in each box because it means both Jack and Annie can have a turn doing something. Um, so that's really fun. Anyway, I better go round up my kids from outside and sit down and start doing school. little monkey with me. You want to stand up and show them your pretty dress? You got a ballerina dress, didn't you? Oh wow, that's so beautiful. <laughs> You're such a good ballerina. Yeah. Um, I also am prepping this mm -hmm. unit this week. It is a gentle and classical Christmas. It is Christmas. Um, and I like it so far. Everything that I've looked up, I'm like prepping the supplies we need, which is not much, which is what I love. Um, and I'm hoping to do like a video on what we're doing this Christmas and a decoration. Yep. Um, and just like an overview of what the unit has in it. So hopefully I'll get around to filming that. It's keys. Where's the keys? Those are that's a bow. Oh, it does kind. Of, it looks like a keyhole, doesn't it? Yeah, keyhole. Does look like a keyhole. Okay. Should we call the big kids in and start school? It is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so cleanliness is the habit that we've been focusing on this term. Okay. Can you guys tell me some ways that you have learned how to practice cleanliness? Washing our hands, washing our teeth. Yeah. Cleaning our nails. Yep, your nails which need to be done, don't they? <laughs> um, yeah. Having a shower or bath every day. Maybe I should have scratched all the muscles, all the algae off the things. Um, Wow. How about having a bath or a shower uh, every day? Annie, you'll have to hop down and grab it. Okay, Mom. Um, having a bath or a shower every day? Sure. And is cleanliness something we just do for ourselves? It is. A no. No. Why is it something that's helpful to others? Because we can, if we can help them clean their own. Yeah, and um, how about... Um, I, just like I help shower... Put the toothpaste on the toothbrush and put it, the water. Yeah, and how about when you were sick? Yeah. Why is it important that you practice cleanliness? <coughs> Bless you. Because because I can spread the germs. Because you can spread the germs, and so if you're practicing cleanliness, then and you're going to help other people not get sick. Okay. I, I still I still have a few headaches today. Yeah. Okay. So 
I think you guys did a really good job learning that. And we're going to keep focusing on that habit over the summertime. And then we're going to start learning a new one next year when but we do our new but school. We'll still, but we'll still focus on that habit and even in our new school. Because we need yep. to focus on it every, our whole lives. Yep, it's something we always need to do. Okay, so we're going to read the last little bit of our Oceania unit study. Okay, we're going to finish. Yeah. And Mummy was looking at some new countries to study next year. Okay. Maybe you guys could help me pick a couple. Um, Mum. Yeah. Can we, you know, you know that North Pole one? Can we do that? We can have a look at it for sure. Okay. Let me read this. Are you yeah. listening? Okay. Colorful Coral Sea. If you survive navigating the Torres Strait, you will find yourself ejected into the serene waters of the Coral Sea. Mum, when can we join? When can I join in that boat that we were learning? Um, soon. Soon. Here, numerous coral formations build their underwater worlds of vibrant marine life. In fact, this is where we find the Great Barrier Reef curling around the northeastern tip of Australia. Okay, so we want to do the lanterns. So Annie, you need to help with this, okay? Because Jack did the other one yesterday. So I think these are all our supplies in here. You can look at that magazine if you want, Jack. Okay, so this is the Kiwi Coruscus. Exploring stars. Here we're going to make Annie a constellation lantern. Okay, that's what it looks like. That's what we're making. Before you start, get inspired. Here are some real constellations you can see in the night sky. Look, Annie. So you could, that's a real constellation. That's what it looks like. That's the Big Dipper. That's Leo the Lion. Leo the Lion, I still have the story okay. box. A constellation is a shape or pattern made out of stars. Look, Mama, I made the way I see. Okay, so are you going to do this with me or do you want Jack to do it with me? Um, me. Okay, so you need to put this away for now, okay? Okay. Good girl. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is star stickers to design a constellation on a piece of lantern paper. So let's have a look in here. Are those black things are These are stars. Those are going to be your stars. But is it a real lantern? Well, it's a paper lantern, but yep, it's going to work like a real lantern. So you need one of these. I'm pretty sure that's it. it tells us everything we need. Lantern paper. It's my diamond. What is it, Charlie J? I can choose whatever, whatever color. Okay, you have enough materials to make eight different lantern sheets. Wow. So you can make lots of different. So maybe Jack could do some and you could do some. Because there's heaps here. Look. Jack, if you go over there, then you can do some on that side. Here, shall I split it in half? I want the blue one, too. There we go. You've got a blue one there, buddy. It's all right, Charlie. You can have a turn oh, in a second. Oh, my favorite color. Okay. And then we've got all these stars. So you can start making a pattern like, see how they did these patterns? And they look like that. lid because we've misplaced the piece that was supposed to come with it. Alright, but we can use this now to make a handle, you see. Hmm. Yeah. Can I hold it? Hold on, it's Annie's turn to hold it first. Okay, you got to do the thing yesterday. Yeah. And then fold it over this way. And what have you made, Annie? It's mine. Yeah? Yay! What is it? It's, it's a, a lantern. lantern. And we're going to take it in the dark so you can hopefully see Yep. The star shining through. Okay, let's go into Jack's room. Can you see it, Annie? No. No, look at your lantern. Can you see this? it's shining through the stars? See the stars? Mm. They're shining. See? You want to see my one? It's the earth. This is the one you made sun. yesterday, hey? It's the earth of the sun. And what else is, what's going around the earth? The moon. The moon. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Wow. You know the Kiwi code? People. Actually, Annie, could you just flick that switch off on the wall there? No, no, look at the on the wall, the night light switch. That. Because that's adding more light. Oops. Bring that off. There we go. Look at the pretty colors of the paper, Annie, too. Look, and look on the walls. 
<laughs> you can't see the stars. That's pretty cool. Uh, this, Bring you one closer, Jack. Yeah. This on. is the Earth and that's the moon. Yeah, it's spinning. It the sun. So how long does it take for the Earth to go around the sun? A year. A and year. And how long does it take the moon to go around the Earth? 25 days. 27 days. Close. And um, does the Earth stay still? No. What is it doing? It spins. Spinning. And how long? What what Wait, what I happens it when it spins around once? When can I turn it off? How long is that? Hold on, Annie. That's a whole day. A whole day. That's right. Good job, Annie. <laughs> All right. It's snack time, guys. Let's go make the snack boxes. Okay, so we just finished all our group subjects and the kids are having snack time. It's 10.30. Um, it went on for a little bit longer than we normally do today just because of the KiwiCo box, but it was good. My washing machine has been going non-stop because the sun is shining and I want to be able to dry things outside. Um, and I was just going to show you the snack boxes that I do for the kids now. So I saw this idea, I don't know, somewhere in one of the Facebook groups, um, to have a snack box for your kids and basically fill it up with their snacks for the day and they get to self-moderate. So once it's gone, it's gone basically. And this has worked so well in our family because it stopped the kids constantly coming up to me and saying, I'm hungry, can I have a snack? I'm hungry, can I have a snack? And instead I just say, go to your snack box and if it's empty, then too bad. You just have to wait till the next meal, whenever that is. Usually, um, usually they make it last the day. Now at first it would be gone in like a matter of like 15 minutes. Now, now they make it last the day. So, um, what I put in it is just all sorts, whatever we've got in the pantry, but it's usually got like fruit and like some chips and um, a yogurt, some crackers, that kind of thing. So um, I'll just show you the boxes that I use. So these are them. Um, I got them from the warehouse here in New Zealand. They're just little plastic ones. They're not too big. Um, and then I just use my Cricut to make labels for them. And I put a shape on it just because Charlotte isn't reading yet. So it just makes it easier for her. Um, and they're easy to clean out, like not that they really get dirty because it's mostly like some a lot of it's packaged, even if it's not, it's just crumbs. So you can just wipe them out, but they work really well and they stack nicely. So at the end of the day, I can just stack them and store them and it's just worked super well for us. washing outside and um, I'm gonna go out to the strawberry patch and see if there's any fresh strawberries nice ripe ones for us to have and then I'm gonna do the individual subjects with the kids so Annie will be up Mom, first yeah this hat fits me and it says uh, it's, uh, you can be one to three years old to wear it oh um, I told the kids they all have to have hats on today because it's really hot outside and yeah and then we've got individual <laughs> subjects so That'll conclude our homeschool day once we're finished with that. What one? Let's go look outside for strawberries first, huh? You want to come help me? Come on. beautiful photograph of a little brown bird a painting thank you Charlie a painting or drawing is made by a person using paints crayons or pencils a photograph comes from someone taking a picture with a camera I'm going to read a poem about a little brown bird a little bird with feathers brown sat singing on a tree the song was very soft and low but sweet as it could be I will read the poem again, one line at a time, and you repeat each line after me. Are you ready? Right, sit up nicely so you're listening, okay? A little bird, a little bird, with feathers brown, with feathers brown, sat singing on a tree, sat singing on a tree. The song was very soft and low, the song was very soft and low, but sweet as it can be, but sweet as it can be. Okay, do this one. Good. 
last lesson in the Math 1 course. Okay, the but next lesson you do is just an assessment to see if you've learned everything you need to, okay? What? This floating lantern celebration is for you. See, look at the floating lanterns, okay? We are going to practice taking away from 10. Find the lanterns that have a subtraction problem written on them. Okay, can you see? the lan These are lanterns, these little glowy things. Okay. Complete each problem and write the answer below the lantern. If a lantern is missing a number, roll the dice and subtract that number from 10. Again, writing the answer below the lantern. Continue until all the lanterns have been completed. <laughs> Are you really so happy? Here, here, grab your pencil. Alright, don't be silly. Wait, this is a you test? Can pick, no, it's not a test. Is that a next lesson test? Kind of, but it's it's not like, um, it's not a horrible test. It's one just to see that you've learned what you need to learn, which and I'm sure we'll, you have. And then will I be done this book? And then you'll be done the whole book. You'll be done math for the year. You don't have to do any math until next year. <laughs> and then no language arts. And you've still got a little bit of language arts to finish, but not much. You'll be done before Christmas. And then... Christmas school. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Go. Start. Pick one. Any one you want. This one. Alright. 10 minus 7. 10 minus 10. So that two. has nothing underneath it. So they're saying use this to roll and that's the number you'll take away from 10. So what number do you get? 4. So 10 take away 4 equals what? You can use your fingers if you need to. It's fine to use your fingers. Wait, what do you say? 10 take away 4. Ten. Ten. Mm -hmm. Four. Equals. Six. Okay, so write that in there. Here, I'll write it and you tell me the answers, okay? Okay. Alright. This one. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, Mummy. Sunshine. Sunshine by Jenny Phillips. Okay. The sun shines on my face, on my toes, and on my nose. It kisses the tops of all the trees, each blade of grass, each buzzing bee. I'm so glad that God above made warm, sweet light for me. Well done. Okay, now I'm going to read a couple of other poems to you, okay? A Mother Who Reads to Me by Jenny Phillips. You might own a ruby ring, a great big home with fancy things, but I am richer far, you see. I have a mother who reads to me. Okay, so we're going to so, find Germany on the map. So, so Germany she, is in Europe, which is around She here. died over 100 years ago. Let's have a look around. There is Germany, right there. You see so it? She died, she died there over 100 years ago. He died there, Felix. He so that's Germany, and New Zealand is way down there. If we're, that's if, how far away it is. Okay, Germany's was, there, New Zealand's there. If she was still alive and she was coming to our house to paint our house, mm -hmm. that'd be cool. Why do you think the painter painted the scene? Um, I don't know. Well, think about it. Why do you think you would want to paint that scene? Because he liked painting, and he, 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 yeah, maybe he, he painted his two children. Maybe. Okay, do you think this picture shows how children find joy in pets yeah. and animals? Yeah, but, so it looks, so what did it look like over a hundred years ago? Very different from now. They didn't have, well, yeah, over a hundred years ago, they definitely didn't have, like, cars and, um, roads like we do, they, they had like everything was gravel roads and cobblestone. They didn't have electricity. Well, they were just beginning to learn about that stuff. Okay. Um, sometimes when you study a painting, you notice interesting details. Okay. Looks quite interesting. What interesting details do you see in there? Let's see how that looks so real. Yeah. What are they eating? Working and playing. Okay. I like to have fun and. I like to work, play is much more fun if you work too. Fun. It's not actually more fun. <laughs> yeah, but play wouldn't be as fun if you didn't know what work was, hey? How would that not be as fun? Because you would just think that that's normal all the time, but it's not. Play is more fun when you get to relax after working. 
All right, right here. My work is done now. Wait a minute. My work is done, and then there's a full stop. So now do the next sentence. Now I swing into the sky, and I see the see. far. Yep. Then I will sit on a big branch and eat. All right, well, we are finished school for the day. It is just past 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, and school went really well today. So we got everything done that we needed to. In fact, we actually, I actually like doubled up lessons for Jack today um, because it was just a short and easy lesson in his language arts. So he did two. So he's got, I think, like um, six lessons left in his language arts book. And so we're going to do one tomorrow and then... We'll finish it off next week. And um, Annie's going to keep doing her language arts for a couple weeks just because I want to finish the book so she can start fresh next year and she's so close to finishing it. So that'll do them well. But yeah, it was a fun day. I hope you enjoyed following along with us. Um, so this afternoon, the kids, I'm going to make lunch for them now. They'll go outside and eat their lunch. I love that about summertime. I send them outside with just like a cutting board with their sandwiches on and they just eat it out there and keeps the mess out there. Um, and so they'll eat their lunch and then Jack and Annie usually like play outside or play quietly inside until two o'clock and then they're allowed an hour of um, TV time. So like they might watch something on Netflix or Disney. And then during, at one o'clock, Charlotte goes down for her nap. So this afternoon I am planning on filming some sit down videos hopefully. I'm going to wrap this one up and then go ahead and charge up my battery and go forth and film this afternoon because I've got quite a few videos that I would like to film. I don't know how much I'm going to get done today, but I'll give it my best shot while everyone's healthy and I'm in the right frame of mind to be working. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. The afternoons are really cruisy around here. I don't commit to much at all in the afternoons because I'm usually tired or I need to get work done and the kids just play and that's that and then Shane comes home from work and that's the evening so yeah any questions for me leave them in the comments below I cannot believe this is the last day in the life for this year I don't I'm not planning on filming over the holidays because I kind of want to take time off so it'll just be sit down videos over the holidays and then next year I will be coming to you fresh with curriculum choices and all that fun stuff um, but now I want to film some like wrap up videos from this year to share with you. So like this video if you enjoyed it. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more from me. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars.